Okay, this is a video of the upgraded littoral combat ships. Uh, the LCS have been uh, long fought over addition to the U.S. Navy. They are frigate-sized vessels originally intended to carry four or five different modules that could be replaced uh, within one to two days. As they were built, it became obvious that the modules could not be replaced in one or two days, but would take as much as a week or more to replace. And this caused them to lose the effectiveness they were meant to have. And not to mention the fact that without the standard modules with only a 57 millimeter gun, uh, a couple of smaller weapons, and either a C-RAM or RAM missile, uh, they were very ill-equipped uh, to fight in the littoral areas where they were meant to fight against pier class vessels, which carried larger guns, much longer ranged uh, anti-shipping missiles, which the LCS did not carry at all. However, uh, the U.S. ultimately recognized this. They built two classes. One is the Trimarin Independence class, as you see here. Uh, this is the second one built. And another is the monohull all-steel uh, Freedom class vessel. Ultimately, it was decided to uparm them and add uh, eight long-range missiles, uh, add additional armored spaces, uh, longer range, uh, and better uh, sensors, as well as uh, better anti-air capabilities. And so here we have two of each of the class upgraded. The upgrade you can see includes the eight armored box, uh, quad armored box launchers on the front of each vessel, which are going to carry Norwegian naval strike missiles, which are excellent missiles. They're modern, they're very effective, and hopefully they will be upgraded themselves to the joint strike missile, which is basically the same missile redesigned to fit into the F. 35B uh, and other F-35 internal spaces that the Norwegians are buying as well, of course, as the United States and many other countries. Uh, those have a longer range and uh, hopefully will be fitted onto these ships. Once done, the United States will then have uh, 38 to 40 of these vessels, 19 or 20 of each. And uh, they are very capable in some areas. For example, the Independence class has a very large hangar. It can supplement amphibious ready groups and carry additional soldiers as well as act very effectively as uh, a counter mine warfare vessels. This one you see has uh, the large helicopter that was designed uh, with the anti-mine equipment you see right there and uh, they become much more effective than the 10 Avenger class anti-mine vessels that the United States currently has. Um, you can see here on the uh, Freedom class the armored box launchers along with 24 Hellfire missile vertical launchers and uh, the 30 millimeter uh, weapons as well as the uh, 21 cell ram launcher. Now, in addition to that, the United States is gonna have up to 20 FF class vessels that, that will also have better air armament and 28 of the new FFGX. I recommend you looking at the uh, video I have of the FFGX. Uh, the only difference between that video and current reality is that the FFGX will also probably get the uh, NSM, the Naval Strike Missile, from the Norwegians, 
as well as being able to carry in its NK41 VSL or VLS cells that will be able to carry uh, the long-range uh, anti-surface missile that the United States is building that has a 250 mile range and a 1,000 pound warhead. So the United States ultimately will have 60 to 70 very capable frigates. It took us a while to get there, quite frankly too long in my opinion. But these vessels also have very good anti-submarine capabilities, each carrying uh, capable of carrying two helicopters, towed arrays, as well as uh, other sonar capabilities that would make them effective either for a carrier strike group or for a amphibious ready group in terms of escort capabilities. So I just wanted to uh, take a video and put in a plug for the LCS once all of these uh, additions are added. Uh, they will be capable certainly of littoral combat capabilities not only against uh, small vessels and swarming vessels as they were meant to to fight but also against pure uh, frigates and pure uh, corvettes that it became obvious they would not be able to fight and they needed to be able to fight uh, in today's world. So there you have it. By the way, these one 350th scale models are uh, Trumpeter and Hobby Boss, uh, uh, excuse me, Trumpeter and Bronco vessels uh, that are, are very decent uh, uh, models. I got the noise, the, the new strike uh, the naval strike missiles I got uh, from a Shapeways dealer uh, who made 3D models of them, and I want to give Snafu, that builder, uh, a plug. Another great builder on that uh, area is uh, uh, the 3D model builder. Uh, Netherlands Miniatures, uh, they provided me earlier with the 1 350th scale FFGX from Lockheed that I expect will win that competition. So here you have it, 1 350th scale littoral combat ships upgraded to be truly the frigates they were meant to be. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.